Iran and Israel as they wait for this so-called imminent attack by Iran in response to an Israeli attack uh, on an Iranian consulate in, in, in Syria. But the bottom line is they're still waiting. Danny Dannon is the Israeli Knesset member, former Israeli ambassador to the United Nations. Ambassador, always good to have you. What's the latest? Neil, we are uh, on a high alert here in Israel. We take very seriously the threats coming from Tehran. And uh, this morning we heard about uh, the, a vessel, a civilian vessel that was hijacked um, in the Arabian uh, Sea by the Iranian military, the IRJC. You know, it's very interesting because we, we spoke in the past about Iran being a state sponsor for terrorism, be sending money mostly to their proxies. But here you see the Iranian military hijacking on daylight uh, a civilian cargo vessel and taking the, the vessel with the crew to Iran as we speak. So we see the aggression of Iran. We are on high alert. Our air defense system are ready. We don't know what will happen, but we are ready to protect our civilians and to retaliate if we will have to retaliate. So when you hear about these warnings from the United States to Israel, no less, uh, be careful how you react because that could lead to something bigger, you know, et cetera. Um, do you chafe at that? So I think first, you know, the Western democracies should uh, threaten or push against Iran, not against Jerusalem. Look what we are dealing now. You are dealing with a sovereign state, Iran, threatening another state to send uh, ballistic missiles. It's unheard of. So if that will happen, we will have no other choice but to respond, to retaliate. We will not uh, allow Iran to change the equation in the Middle East or the relations between uh, uh, Israel and our neighbors. So I, I think the pressure should be on Tehran, on Iran. We want to have stability. We have no interest to open a front with Iran. But if they will attack us, we will not sit idly by nil. Ambassador, you know, you mentioned at the outset, I thought it was a very important distinction uh, about Iran and what it's doing. Of course, the capture, the seizing of this ship. Um, you know, the, we're getting conflicting reports, Ambassador, as to whether it was Iran directly or uh, our proxies or Houthi rebels. We, no idea. But uh, you didn't draw that distinction. And I thought that was rather interesting. So if Israel is indeed attacked, let's say by a proxy, you would still associate that with Iran and respond uh, by uh, attacking Iran? I, I'm, I'm taking that leap, but I, I just wonder what you meant by that. No, I, I agree with you. You know, we will uh, defend ourselves and retaliate no matter what. But there's a huge difference if uh, a proxy of Iran, like we saw in the past few weeks from uh, Lebanon, from Yemen, or even uh, Iraq, will send a UAV into our direction. Or you're going to have a, a rocket or UAVs from Iran flying into Israel. It, it's different. And the retaliation will be different as well. So if it's a proxy that, that attacks you or, or you, you know, somehow gets through your dome and, 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 and lands a missile in, in Israel proper, uh, that's very different than word that it was Iran directly. And that would affect whether Israel responds directly by going into Iran directly. So if you hear very carefully to what the leaders of uh, Tehran said in the last few days, they said very clearly that they want to send a message right. and to send the uh, ballistic uh, missiles uh, from Iran to Israel. And that's something, you know, we have a very young country, 76 years. It, it never happened. Um, the last time it happened was uh, during the Gulf War when, when we had ballistic missiles flying from Iraq into Israel. Uh, so that is, will change the game, and the, it will change the way we have to act against Taiwan. And they know that. They know that, and we have told it to our allies as well. All right, Ambassador, thank you very much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.